Hey everyone, this is Diane Franklin. You may know me from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. How's it going, ladies? You're the ones we saw in front of the castle. The Last American Virgin. It's over between us, so it doesn't matter. So why are you crying then? Better off dead. Language lessons. Are you going to teach me French? The international language. Or Amityville to the possession. I also am in films today, Ted Bundy, American Boogeyman, and Amityville Murders. Because of this, I am very interested in horror. And this project came to me that I'm about to speak to you about in a funny way, because I don't usually do shorts, but in this particular short, it is something I really want to play, this character in this story. Um, the story I'm talking about, my brand new project, is called Pareidolia. Hello, folks. My name's Stuart Morris, and I'm the curator and producer of Misty Moon. Now, Misty Moon started off in our little gallery about 10, 12 years ago. We used to show very dark exhibitions. And at that time, Adrian King from Friday the 13th came and exhibited some of her dark art with us. And because she loved our coaching house, which was our gallery, and myself, and my wonderful wife, Mrs. Moon, the one and only Jen Morris, she decided to put her name to Misty Moon and co-founded with us the Misty Moon Film Society. So now we are a production company and we also make our own films. We have made so far After Hours, Frankula, Bad Friday, Ripper Tour, Ready for My Close Up, and my newest film, a hymn for her is just out on the circuit and has already won two awards for best actress and best horror film. So we are now about to make our next film called Paradolia. Hello, I'm Aaron Truss and I'm the director of Paradolia, a film produced by Misty Moon and Stuart Morris and also by my production team, Cucumber Films. Aaron, I first met in 2012, I'm sure you won't mind me saying this, at um, Misty Moon's Nightmare on Elm Street 2 gig. Uh, our gallery where we had Mark Patton from Nightmare on Elm Street 2. And that was a great gig. And I can always remember a very ginger, young looking and slimmer than he is now, Aaron Truss walking around with a Freddy glove. You know, it was fantastic. The most important thing is he's got it up here. He's very clever. He's plotting everything, writing stuff down. And so for me, it's going to be a learning curve and experience because I've never made a film just quite like that. So for Paradolia, plain Sinead Chambers, we have got the wonderful 80s American babe, the ultimate babe, Hollywood royalty and horror screen legend, Diane Franklin. I'm beautiful. It is being produced by Misty Moon's Stuart Morris and directed by Aaron Truss, director of the Rob Knox story and producer of Cult of VHS. The script is written by Aiden Truss, and what I really loved about it is it tackles a world of pareidolia which has never been tackled in horror before. It's something incredible that my father has written. My father was the author of Gape, a fantastic novel which came out a few years ago, and this is the first piece of work that he's worked on since, and the first piece of work that I've worked on with him. I will be sharing screen time with some exciting American and British stars. This is um, incredible, a British TV legend, the most recognisable face on television. Graham Cole, also known as PC595, Tony Stamp from The Bill. I think he was in something like two and a half thousand episodes of The Bill. I love horror and I love short films. Now I'll be playing Father John Kavanagh. He realizes that some of his worst fears are returning to haunt him. We'll also be working with Caroline Pickles, who I fondly remember from Broadchurch. I was, um, I was wrong to post that news. I'm sorry. She's hanging by the bolts from the town hall spire. I'm delighted to be joining the cast of Paradolia. I've, I've never done um, one of these spooky ghost story type things before, and this is a very very exciting, good script. So I'm really happy to be joining. And such illustrious cast. And Sandy Johnson. I'm Sandy Johnson. I played Judith Myers, Michael Myers' older sister, in John Carpenter's Halloween 1978. 
I joined the project because I was really intrigued with the script. It's really quite creepy. It has elements of both the omen and the exorcist, two of my favorites. Plus there's newcomer, Joe Akers, who's going to play mortuary attendant, John T. It's going to be such a fun experience for me. It's going to be such a, a good project to, to see through to the end. And I really think it could be, you know, something really special, especially for people that are into the genre, you know, that are really like horror people. In case you're wondering what pareidolia is, it is when you look in an image and you can't quite f make out what it is. So because of that, your mind starts f seeing things in the pattern or the design that is given. For instance, if you look at my fireplace in the rock, I see a tiger. Well, obviously there's no tiger there, but it's a game that my husband and I have played for about 37 years now because it's lots of fun. But in order to do this, I will need help. Um, this is an indie film. As you know, all indie films need funding because this is not something that happens uh, with support of mainstream films. There's a lot of perks down below. There's going to be shout outs, you know, I know a lot of people do shout outs, I'm not too sure what that's for, but you know, there'll be shout outs on social media and stuff. There's going to be IMDb credits. There's going to be Paradolia posters signed by all the cast. There's going to be Paradolia t-shirts. There's also going to be a chance to actually be in a scene as an extra. Um, I just want to let you know that Paradolia is a very unique script. It's never been done before, and uh, I rarely do things where um, uh, a short, I rarely do short, but when they are excellent and I feel that there's a lot of hope for it, um, it's worth it. It really is. So please, if you can give a little, a middle, a lot, anything would help. And I know times are hard right now, but you know, it's only money. No, I'm only joking. If you can't give anything, please just share on your social media because you don't know one of your friends or one of your family may want to be in a film or may want to see their name on the big screen. Anyway, have a lovely evening. Thank you very much for listening to me and I hope you have a most wonderful day.